Dear students, today we consider one of the most important topic of our subject, hydromechanics, is fluid modes. The aims of our lesson are to study motion, uh, to determine the mode of a fl a fluid, and to calculate uh, the main uh, parameters of fluid. Hydromechanics is science which study equilibrium of uh, fluid and uh, motion uh, of it. Uh, this science, uh, this science um, uh, divided on two uh, parts, hydrostatic and hydrodynamics. Hydrostatic uh, studies the uh, equilibrium of uh, fluid, uh, and uh, hydrodynamics uh, studies <coughs> motion of fluid, uh, laws of uh, this motion and uh, interaction uh, of uh, fluid and uh, stationary or moving uh, surfaces. First of all, I uh, won't tell you about the history of discoveries. Many researchers uh, observed that in a fluid uh, flow, particles uh, can make uh, motion uh, along different trajectories. That's why uh, the idea of existence uh, of different um, modes of fluid uh, appeared. It has happened in the first uh, part of 19th century. In 1839, the German scientist Hagen discovered fundamentally different modes of fluid. There are two modes. In 1880, the famous Russian scientist Mendeleev described this question in his work. English physics and engineer Osborne Reynolds has clarified this question. He published results of his observations in a laboratory setting with water in 1883. The water flowed with different velocities in a glass tube. The same installation you can see on this picture. The installation consists of tank with water, glass tube, steel tube, tap, a tank with color fluid. The density of this fluid was the same as the water density, but the diameter of glass tube more than diameter of steel tube. That <clears throat> using uh, these uh, taps, uh, you can control uh, the flow rate and velocity uh, of fluids. Experiments were carried out for establishing of the flow rate and velocity uh, of the glass tube. At the same time, the tap was opened uh, for supplying color fluid. When we open um, one of this uh, tap uh, and um, the uh, flow rate and velocity um, have a small value uh, in um, glass tube uh, you can see a uh, still thin uh, color uh, stream. <clears throat> uh, there is a, um, a laminar mode um, where you uh, cannot uh, see uh, pressure and um, uh, velocity uh, pulsations uh, and um, <clears throat> the uh, trajectory of um, uh, particle um, are uh, layered and um, uh, a parallel uh, of axis um, of the tube. If the tap will be open more, the rate increases. Some stream uh, became wavy and in some uh, places streams can't destroy. If the flow velocity increases, the colored uh, stream in pipe uh, disappears. As a result, an uh, intensive mixing of fluid particles take, takes place. Such motion uh, can be called a chaotic. This motion is the turbulent motion. Uh, from the Latin word turbulentus, works as uh, chaotic. There is a chaotic nature of fluid particles motion along different trajectories. Layers begin destroy. A uh, uh, fluid motion with mixing and there are velocity and pressure pulsation. On this video, you can uh, see the same experiment.
But we need the criteria of motion. If you know the velocity of fluid flow and the viscosity of this fluid and the diameter of the pipe, you can find by calculation the Reynolds number by this formula. Reynolds number uh, has no units. Physical meaning of the Reynolds number. This number is the ratio of the inertial forces and frictional forces. Changing one mode to another takes place at critical value of velocity. That's why we can say that there is a critical value of Reynolds number. Uh, it uh, equal to 2320 pipes with circular cross sections. After uh, comparing uh, it with Reynolds number, you can determine the mode. Uh, if the calculating Reynolds number less than critical value, we have laminar modes. And uh, if uh, this um, uh, calculating um, Reynolds number more than critical value, it is a turbulent mode. This knowledge helps us to determine different parameters of fluid. Thank you for your attention.